Hey guys, how's it going? Well, we're back again with another lesson. Um, thanks for checking it out. Um, I want to continue today on uh, the swing theme from the basic swing lesson. This is really just some starter beginner stuff for people getting into the jazz swing tradition. And it's coming out of Keith Copeland's book, uh, the wonderful drummer teacher, Keith Copeland, who I was lucky enough to study with. Um, Today, I want to continue. The first lesson was looking at this crotchet triplet across the cymbal, and I showed you a little hack of how that can help you. Um, I want to continue today, and we're going to introduce this triplet rhythm onto the bass drum, and how we can have some interplay between the snare and the bass drum while playing the time in the cymbal, and this sort of crotchet triplet that seems to kind of reverse between the bass drum and snare drum, alternating. Um, so let's get right to it. Okay, so in the first lesson, we were playing this. So we were swinging the ride cymbal, hi-hats in two and four, and we're alternating this triplet on the snare on the downbeat or starting on the upbeat. And the whole time we were playing the bass drum on the four crotchet beats, sounding like this, two, three, four. So today, I want to take this snare rhythm and I'm going to move it onto the kick drum. So it should sound like this. And you can hear that I'm still playing the straight ride cymbal beat. I'm not playing the 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 swing spang a lang beat, just the straight. And the hi-hats are in two and four. And this bass drum is across it. If I then play the snare drum on our original trip, triplet, so if I start the crotchet triplets on the snare, the bass drum will be on the upbeat, alternating, and then I'll reverse it. So just have a listen and then I can break it down. bass drum starting the rhythm and the snare on the on the alternating side the upbeat so we're flipping it here we go Two, three, four. I can then bring in the spang-a-lang rhythm, the swing ding da ga ding the tripletized cymbal, and I'm going to alternate between those two, but I'm not going to stop. What I'm going to do is play a double on the snare to flip it, or a double in the bass drum to flip it the other way. So check this out. play those phrases with some gaps so I'm going to keep the phrase going in my head but I'm going to leave a little space in between now and again so just listen to this I'm kind of improvising now but still keeping the time on the symbol. The 
The idea here is really keeping the time on the ride cymbal, hi-hats in tune four. We're still playing the tripletized ding, da, ga, ding, spang -a rhythm. And then underneath on the snare and the bass drum, we're either playing starting on the snare and the low sound on the kick, playing this triplet, and then we're reversing it while keeping the time. You should really try and play the snare drum quite quietly. Not, you know, you don't want to be hitting it too hard. It's really uh, work on your dynamics. I mean, I mean, changing the bass drum and the snare drum and reversing it. You can also orchestrate this around the drum kit, which I'll show you now, where you move your left hand around the toms and the snare while you're keeping the cymbal. And this is another way of helping open up the sounds. Um, it's a quite a hypnotic meditative rhythm when you get into this. It can be used for soloing or just fills or expressing yourself in this music, but still working on the exercise. So I'm going to get back to the kit here and show you this now. Okay, so we're still playing this exercise. All I'm doing now is I'm going to move my hand around, okay? And I'm actually going to turn the snare off so you get a dry rhythm. Better to hear this. So you get the idea, you can move that around. You can also incorporate the hi-hat on that rhythm as well, mixing and matching it around and, and having a lot of fun with that. Okay, so if you haven't watched the basic swing video, go back and watch that. And this is a progression from that. And I hope you get something out of it. Um, on the next lesson, we will take it a bit further and we'll be using uh, the quaver triplet because at the minute we're still just sticking with the crotchet triplet. So it's about playing time and playing this crotchet triplet across it. And Keith believed this was a really uh, good way to open up your independence, independence in terms of each limb playing rhythms and really uh, pulling that sort of um, swing beat apart and, and, and feeling it in a, in a different way. So uh, hope you got something out of it. Thanks. See you next time.